Hi everybody and welcome to AJ's Allotment. Today is Sunday the 4th of March and we've started the big four out. Um, so I don't know what it's like where you are, um, but here in the UK we've had a big freeze which we're not very much used to. I know in other countries you have it all the time but we're just simply not equipped. Um, our cars aren't big enough, our roads aren't big enough, the machinery is not big enough, so we're just not equipped. Um, so we struggle and it's been really, really cold. Um, so yes, I just wanted to show you what I have um, received in the post recently. I've ordered more seeds and it always is a surprise when they come because I always forget how much I've ordered. Um, so I just wanted to go through what other things I'm going to be growing and adding to my collection. So um, I've picked up, these are what I've picked up from the shop. I picked up some um, nasturgeons. I have saved some seed from last year. Um, but I wanted to get some more just in case. So these I will use as ground cover underneath things like my beans. Um, they, they're brilliant for covering the ground and also you can eat um, the flowers so they're good to add to salads, the flowers and the leaves. So they're an edible and um, like everybody else I'm going to be companion planting to see if I can keep things at bay. So I'm going to be growing French marigolds. Um, I have a fondness for French marigolds because when I was a child, um, it's the first thing really that I can remember my mum and dad letting me um, sow and be responsible for. And I like the seeds that are, and they're just so funny looking, aren't they? But yeah, that's fond memories from when I was a child. But they're really good for um, keeping aphids away from your tomato plants. But also, um, I've read that they deter cabbage whitefly as well. So I'm going to give them a go, um, you know, basically amongst my tomatoes in the greenhouse as well um, and uh, on the brassica beds. So wherever I can put them, they'll be edging the borders. So that's why I bought those two. Now, <clears throat> when I opened this, I was surprised because I didn't realise I'd clicked on so many uh, seeds. Just look at all these extra seeds I've ordered compared to what I had already. So I'm going to quickly run through them with you. It will be really, really quick um, as to what I've got. So um, I've got a an early butternut squash because I've already got the warven, which is a bit of a later one. Um, or it was later for me last year. So I wanted something that comes earlier. So I ordered this one. I ordered all of these from Just Seed Catalogue. Um, so you, you get your just seed ones and you get from your other companies as well. Um, because I want to do um, more of my own cold slaw and things like that, I've ordered some red cabbage. This one is from King's and it's called Red Drumhead. Um, that'll be for cold slaw. Um, I'm really going to focus on my beans this year. So I've ordered some more. These are Bolotti beans. I wanted to do Bolotti last year and I never got on with it. So this variety is called Lingua di Fuoco. I don't know. You don't get many seeds in these. They're, they're, they're very cheap to buy, but there's only 10 in there. But that's okay, because I don't want too many. Um, I've ordered some autumn... Are they autumn? Yeah, autumn king carrots. I wasn't going to do carrots, but I thought, actually... I've seen everybody pulling the carrots, and I thought, oh, next year I'll regret it if I don't do any. So I'm going to do some. Uh, market more cucumber, um, the ones I've always done. I've ordered some alderman um, as well as, this is pea sorry, alderman, as well as to go with the uh, ones I got from the Real Sea catalogue. You get a 300 in this one and it does have the information about them. Again, they're a tall variety. And then I've ordered some Mange 2 pea. These are called pea Caraby de Moussain, I think you say it, and there's only 14 there. But again, that'll be fine. If I look after the ones that germinate, that'll be fine. Um, I've ordered some my winter lettuce because if I don't order it, I'll forget to water it. So order it. I know I'm not going to be sowing this for a while. Um, and that is an Arctic king. I've never eaten or tried to grow uh, kohlrabi. So I thought I would give that a go. Um, so I've ordered a purple variety called um, Delicacy Purple. Again, oh, there's 300 seeds there, so they're not too bad. Some January King Cabbage, some Purple Top Turnip, as again, I've never grown turnip before, so I thought, why not? 
Um, after seeing uh, Steve's seed allotment and his freckles lettuce, I've decided to order some of that. Again, you only get 40 seeds in this packet. Um, and this is a very small amount of seed. You only get five in here and it's um, winter squash crown prints. I, I'm mainly going to grow this because I've got a few friends who really, really love um, the blue um, squashes. Um, and I, I like it as well, but that's going to be to give away. And this is Courgette Defender. I have grown this in the past. I never had a problem with it. Um, back to my um, living mulch. So I talked about I'm going to use living mulches. Um, so I've ordered some peppermint. So I can sow lots of mint um, and that's going to go around the beds and it's going to be used not only as living mulch, but I'll also be using that in um, teas and um even in some bath I, I drink peppermint tea all the time anyway so it's silly not to grow my own so i'll be going in my herb bed as well as a living mulch and i've ordered some chives because i didn't have any um yeah so i do like just seed because you can get um smaller seed packets um which keeps the cost down so if you want to just try something new out but you don't want to pay three four pounds for a full pack of seed um you can pay 50p and get you smaller smaller packs so i've used them before for other things and um, look it says the economy on them because they're economy packs of seeds but yeah the danger is with internet buying is you just go click 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 and then you get a big envelope through the post but yeah so that's the extra seeds that i've bought um i've also been panicking i didn't have enough seed potatoes so yesterday when i was at town stretcher i've picked up some more um king edwards um, so I'll put them in as well but that's what I've been doing and next up I'm going to show you um, I, I will show you what happened in at the end of this what happened when we went to um, visit the plot two days ago I went to get some compost from Wix and they had an offer on and they had some um, wood chip and wood chippings on offer as well for £2 for a 90 litre bag so I've got a couple of bags of those and the Wix peat free, green free um, compost was the 60 litre bags was an offer at £2 as well. So I got six of those. So I've dropped them off at the allotment to go on the beds. Um, but yeah, it was so cold. So it's only two two minutes there, but it shows you how, how we got hit um, on the plot. But I'll put that on at the end. Um, in a minute, I'm just going to show you my Thompson and Morgan blueberry plants that have come through the post. So with the Grow Your Own magazine, they have the um, free plant offer quite often. So you just send your postage um, and you can order other things. Last year, I got the free blueberries um, and you got three last year. This year, it's only two plants. Um, but there was quite good sized plants last year and I did get a couple of blueberries off them. They're looking really healthy and well at the moment. So I thought, oh, I'll order them again. So I sent off my chat and I didn't expect it to come so quick. And it, they arrived you in the post like this. So if I open it up, this is how they're packaged. I'll take that one out. And it comes with a bag of feed. And your pots are stapled into the box. Which is a bit of a problem because it is now ripped the pot mm, so this is how they come and this is called blueberry duke this one now it's a lot smaller than the one i got last year it's a lot uh, of a smaller cutting so i think that's going to take a bit longer to get going really but the ones i got last year were a lot bigger Let's see if get this one out and then this one is also a duke as well. And that one's a little bit further on, a little bit stronger looking. So that's how they look when you get them. So that's the two I've got given. But yeah, they're a bit smaller than the ones I got last year. But for the postage of £5 something, I can't remember the oddment, um, it's not bad really. So yes, so please do keep an eye out on the magazines for their free offers. They do come. I know a lot of people, if you've never ordered before, will be thinking, oh, I'm not sure whether they'll actually arrive. But they have come and they've come quite promptly. And um, So I've got some terracotta pots. 
these are on offer at B&Q for a pound so they will um, go in there in ericaceous compost and they'll join the others but yeah these weren't bad either down to a pound at B&Q um, so these are the 21 centimetre ones so yeah those are the that bargains I've been doing so whilst I've not been able to get to the plot instead I have been buying things basically let me move these out of the way I just wanted to show you how they arrive and what they're like and I've also got myself a very new handy tool so I'll probably do a reveal of that on another video um, so I've got myself a new cordless screwdriver and I'll be showing you that next time so thank you very much proper got us my broad bean. They don't look very happy. It's very cold in the UK today. And as you can see, my broccoli all frozen. The leeks aren't happy. But we did have time to go get some compost from Wix, so we're just loading up ready for when the, the big thaw happens. I'll be all prepared. Right, I just wanted to show you what's happened here in North Links. I'll get back to you all again later. So as you can see from the footage, um, it was very, very cold two days ago. It's a lot milder today. Um, we're not even in minus figures today. I might even bring the guinea pigs back out of the garage. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you haven't done already, ring the bell so you don't miss an update. Please take care if it's still frosty and bad conditions where you are. And I'll catch you all again really soon. So take care. Goodbye.